Hey everyone, today in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Keystrokes mod to see your movement keys, um, CPS, ping, and FPS. Uh, it's a very good mod, I highly recommend it if you're a high pixel player or if you like care about your CPS a lot and want to monitor it. And there's a lot of steps in this mod. Well, to download mods, there's a lot of steps to start out. So there's going to be timestamps in the description so you can skip around in case you've already downloaded something. So the first thing you want to do is uninstall any third party file changing softwares. So this could be something like WinRAR, um, where it changes your uh, files because if you it might if it changes the mod file then you won't be able to put it in and it won't work so you go to settings you go to apps and you can just search up your software name I know WinRAR is popular but and then I'm just gonna do this for thing you would press uninstall on the software you want to uninstall and you can always reinstall this after you've downloaded the mods so the next thing it's the download Java, and all the download links will be in the description down below, as well as well as the timestamps. So Java, there's you only need Java to open up Forge and install Forge. There's only one version of Java; it's simple to set up. So this is the easiest part. Just it's a it's a safe download. Install and don't change the destination folder at all. It needs to be in the same folder. Alright, now that Java is just successfully installed, we need to download Forge. Um, I highly suggest 1.8.9 because it's, very, it's a very popular version of Minecraft. And uh, the best Keystrokes mod file I found was only compatible with 1.8.9. So for this guide, go with 1.8.9. Download recommended, press the installer, and don't press anything here. Like, wait. There's a bunch of ads that'll uh, want you to pop up. Don't. This is all a scam. Don't click this. You gotta press skip up here, and then it'll download. The Forge download will download. You press keep. It's a safe file. Don't worry. I tested it. And click on it to open it and install this. And if you install Java correctly, then this will pop up. If not, you didn't install Java correctly. Press install client. Do not. Um, change the, do not change the folder it's downloading in because you need this to put the mod in it. So press OK. Install. Alright, now that this is done, you need to download the Keystrokes mod itself. So just press download, it has to match the version of Forge you're using. Uh, press keep. And now what I'm going to do, you go to the Windows, search up percentage app data, and percentage and then enter so put this on split screen um, so this should be what pops up this side here uh, click on the minecraft dot minecraft folder it should be the first one that pops out and you need to create a new folder unless you already created a folder for all your mods just to organize it so I'm gonna it, name it mods click on it and you drag the keystrokes mod into this folder and you can just exit out that's it now when you open your Minecraft launcher, uh, Forge should pop up, but you don't want to do that. You want to go to installations. If you downloaded Forge correctly, this should pop up. You need to press new installation. I'm going to name it Keystrokes Mod. I'm just going to name it Mod Mods. Um, you do not want to do the latest release. You want to scroll all the way down to release 1.8.9 Forge. Because that's the one that has the mods. And you can set your resolution, do your monitor's resolution, or whatever resolution you want to play on. I recommend 1080p. Unless you have an ultra wide, then go with uh, like 1440p or something. Okay, 1080p. Now press create. And now you want to press play on this. I understand. Yes, it's all saved. Don't worry. So when it boots up, you should see, like, when it starts up, you should see a uh, keystroke spawn somewhere. Right there, yeah. It just popped in the middle. So now I'm going to re-record the last part, because uh, I realized my face, cam, my face cam was blocking my keystroke spawn. 
So once you load into a game, I'm not in high picks right now because it's lagging and it's really it's down like there's a queue. So you press it might not pop up right away because for me it popped up right away. Uh, you just slash keystrokes, press enter, and this is all the controls. Here are my controls. You can copy them if you want to. You here where you turn it off. Show space bar. Show CPS. Basically. It's really self-explanatory, just mess around with the settings here and see what you like. If this video was helpful to you, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.